Schwartz was president, I'm going to give the parents of every low income and special needs student the chance to choose where their child goes to school. For the first time in history, federal education funds will be linked to the student so that parents can send their child to any public or charter school of their choice. That was GOP presidential candidate Mitt Romney laying out what he would do today to reform America's failing schools. Here to break down the details is Wall Street Journal assistant features editor David Fife. David, welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, David, I thought Mitt Romney always supported school choice. So uh, what's new here? Well, the, the qualities that are new here are first the, the clip that you've just played, a presentation of a, of a potentially really transformative change in the relationship between federal government dollars, students, and parents, essentially. It's a bit vague on the details. It's unclear exactly what candidate Romney means, partly because most of the funding uh, for students' education comes from states and not from the federal government at all. So in a certain sense, perhaps we should ignore the details and say that rhetorically and kind of philosophically what Governor Romney is doing is linking himself up with governors like Bobby Jindal, who in states where they're actually able to implement things like that, are attaching money to students, which is radical because to actually say that parents have a certain amount of money to play with and to use in an education marketplace is of course a, a major subversion of, of a, an education monopoly that the unions and the education bureaucrats would rather keep. The other thing that's new here is that while Governor Romney has supported school choice generally as governor in Massachusetts, he basically supported charter schools but not vouchers. So for him to have supported school vouchers as he did very strongly citing in particular the case of Washington DC where President Obama has opposed a very successful voucher program, that is new, that's an improvement mm. and, uh, and for that reason there, there's reason for some, uh, for some praise. Oh, just for the parents who might be listening out there, David, uh, in these programs, do they allow uh, money to follow students to say parochial schools, Catholic schools, private schools? I mean, is there any kind of school that would be excluded from a program like this or do we not know yet? We don't know yes quite yet. No. We, okay. we, don't, we don't know quite yet. We okay. certainly don't know in the case of Governor Romney's proposal. And even in the case of some of these promising state programs like in Louisiana with Governor Jindal, it's hard to know because this is a fairly new idea in education uh, because for so long there had been such a chokehold on money. But in general, in the case of Louisiana, for example, the idea is that nothing would be excluded. So okay. that's... Okay. Well, he gave Mr. Romney gave his speech today in front of the Latino Coalition. I think we've got a, a poll here that we can throw up that shows. Uh, here we go. President Obama, 61% uh, approval ratings out of Latinos, as opposed to Mitt Romney's 27%. Uh, that's a Wall Street Journal, NBC News, Telemundo poll. Uh, so, is that the political calculation here uh, to 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 pitch to the voters that he has the perhaps the steepest mountain to climb? It would seem so, and certainly a good hint, a good suggestion for that being true is that Governor Romney delivered the speech in front of a Hispanic group. And there are other polls that show that uh, among Hispanic voters, education is actually an issue that is of greater importance than they rank it higher even than immigration reform. So given some numbers like that, it, it makes particular sense. And then on the more narrow subject of vouchers, there again, there's possibly some real political resonance among Hispanic voters because vouchers are uh, especially valuable to families in inner cities and many voucher recipients attend urban Catholic schools. And so there, there's, a, there's, there, there's a potential connection there with, with Hispanic Catholics.